hey, what's up? This is one little coder. We have a new AI text to video model. You can give a text and this model can generate video for you. Unlike the existing text to video models that are computationally expensive, which requires heavy GPU and large RAM to run, this does not require those things. The reason is because they are using the existing text to image models like stable diffusion to generate video. How does it happen? In the latent space, you can generate multiple frames, but the challenge has always been having the smooth multiple frames to make it a video. And that's exactly what they are handling using this model. This model is called text to video zero because this is a zero shot text to video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the model, show you a demo of hugging face spaces that they have hosted and also see a couple of more examples of how this works. Unlike existing models where it can generate only video from the text, which is quite obvious because it's a called a text to video model. You can give a text and it can generate a video. A cat is running on the grass. You get this video. A panda is playing guitar on Times Square. You get this video. You can say a man is riding a bicycle in the sunshine. You get this video. A horse is ho horse galloping on a street. You get this video. This is quite common with every single text to video that we have already got. But what this model, because it's leveraging existing open source models like Stable Diffusion can also do is, it can do text to video with post guidance, which means you have an existing video, it can estimate the pose of it from the image, and then it can generate new videos based on it. It can do text to video with edge guidance. There is a particular shape and it can detect that edge and then it can do videos. And this, this actually goes and on and on. It can do text to video with edge guidance and dream booth specialization, which means if you have got your own character, you can use that and try to make a video. So that is the greatest thing about this. It can in fact do video instruct picks to picks. So you have, you have an input video and you can use that as a default, just like what we saw in the gen one or gen two from runway ML. It can take an input video and generate an output video. All these are possible because they are leveraging the existing model like stable diffusion. And as you know, this is stable diffusion picks to picks. This is from control net. This is again from control net. This is again from control net. And this is the default text to image model that you would have done with stable diffusion. So how is it possible that they have managed to do this thing? And let's take a look at the paper. So what does the paper say? The title of the paper is text to video zero text to image diffusion models are zero shot video generators. So they are leveraging the existing text to image models, stable diffusion models as zero shot video generators. And what are they doing? The key modification. So, so one thing you need to remember is it does not require any training or optimization. So in this paper, we introduce a new task of zero shot text to video generation, propose a low cost approach by leveraging power of existing text to image models like stable diffusion, making them suitable for video domain. And how are they doing it? They're doing it. The key modifications, including enriching the latent codes of the generated frames with motion dynamics to keep the global scene and the background time consistent. This is a very important thing. Like for example, let's say I have this thing. If I'm going to generate a video uh, multiple frames in the latent space with particular this thing in the latent space, Ideally, if you want a video, how does it, sh how it should look? It should look like this frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five, frame six it should go up to like 30 so that you have a th 30 FPS video for one second. But it doesn't always happen in the latent space when you're trying to generate an image. If you have played with stable diffusion, you know this. So one key modification they are doing is they are trying to keep this intact. They're trying to keep enriching the latent codes of the generated frames with motion dynamics to keep the global scene and the background time consistent reprogramming frame level self attention using a new cross frame attention of each frame on the first frame to preserve the context appearance and identity of the foreground object. So if I am the foreground object, they try to make sure the foreground object stays intact and um, you know, so that you can preserve the context appearance and identity based on the foreground object uh, of the foreground object based on the first frame. So these are the two important things that they are doing it so that the existing models can generate frames in such a way that it could be used to create videos. I'm not going to get into the details of the paper, but because you have already seen the examples, you know, because of this advantage, you can use stable diffusion, not only for text to video synthesis, but also you can do conditional context specialized video generation, like with control net video picks to picks, um, instruct picks to picks and all those things. Now looking at the model in itself, 
you can go to the hugging face model hub a uh, model uh, space hugging face space uh, hugging face spaces where you can see the demo i gave a prompt saying an astronaut riding a camel on a desert and this is what i got i can show you it's it's not as smooth as your typical takes to video generation that's also because you have this challenge here because you are using existing models but it is computationally less expensive you can try different prompts i'm going to try one more prompt here so that i can show you the other one i'm going to say an astronaut walking on a street enter the prompt you have some advanced options that you can try but we can just click run and then it is going to generate you have a lot of people in the queue but let's go on to the next tab where i've got another thing which is video instruct pics to pics you can upload a video give a prompt so i can upload this camel this is my camel and i have uploaded that video and i have said make it a van gogh starry night style video so very similar like your image to image or video instru instruct pics to pics that you have done on stable diffusion so here you can upload a video and then give a style or whatever the prompt is and then you can generate the final one you can like i can run both of this side by side you can see how this camel is like a now a video based on van gogh style video this is quite amazing given the fact that it's not just instruct pics to pics it can do post conditional which is you upload a video um, based on that oh this doesn't work okay cool maybe it's coming soon this is coming soon it's coming soon but we have already seen the demos here so based on the input video you can see it can detect the pose of it and then it can generate new things which is very similar what stable diffusion control net has been doing all along and most likely they are using the same thing here but for now as you know that we have got a new text to video zero text to video zero is a new ai model that can generate video from input text and also there are certain other options like right now it's live that you can also upload a video and then give a prompt and generate a new video the other options that leverage control net post detection uh, post conditional edge conditional all these are coming soon the code is not yet been released on their uh, github so they have said code is going to come soon but right now you can follow the github repository to see when the code will appear overall this looks an interesting promising direction in which it is taking rather than relying on heavy computation new model new model being trained it looks like somebody has uh, tried to convince uh, stable diffusion to make these frames in such a way in a coherent way so that the motion dynamics is you know intact and uh, you get to create the 30 frames or 60 frames for making one second video looks very interesting let me know in the comments what you feel about it i'll link all the required links in the youtube description please check it out happy prompting